Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this super heavy and rather large Globe in box. This does have my monthly box as well as some add-ons that I did. Now Globin is a really interesting company because they go into a hundred different countries all over the world. They go into remote locations and find artisans that are really good at their craft but maybe wouldn't have been discovered otherwise and they pay them a fair wage and then they are able to put their products in their subscription box but also in their add-ons so from the first to the tenth of the month you can actually purchase add-ons and I went ahead and did that. Last month, I got this beautiful white platter and this gorgeous white bowl. They're like pottery. They were beautiful. I'll actually link that video down below in case you wanna see them. You guys, they have washed through the dishwasher great. I have teenagers who are not quite gentle when they unload the dishwasher. <laughs> we have used them nonstop as meat platters and big serving bowls, and I really, really am happy with them. So I decided to pick up a few more add-ons. So that is what is in here, but I really do like Globin. It is $40 a month, and you'll actually see the subscription box, but there's like six or eight that you can choose from. So you can actually go in and pick which subscription box you want. I actually get the mystery one. I like to be surprised. That's part of the fun with unboxing, uh, boxes for me so I got the mystery one and we'll see but I'm also going to show you the globe in now it is $40 a month and I do have a code to get your first box for $30 off making it only $10 so I'm going to link that below in case you're interested and let's go ahead and see what's inside but really quick, I wanted to say, it really does help me to bring more content to the channel when I get more subscribers and thumbs up. So please consider doing that. I do all kinds of videos from fashion to beauty and lifestyle and everything in between. So if that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that subscription button and the thumbs up button. And let's go ahead and get into the box. All right, so the first thing that I picked up were four of these little bags. Now I bought these in the very first add-on. This is my third Globin box. So the very first add-on sale, I thought these were so cute and I actually bought one. They have these really pretty flamingos and palm leaves on them. And they call them a wet bag because the inside is lined. So if you put like a wet bathing suit or something in here, it's not going to matter. But I really like them for makeup bags. And so I gave the one that I bought away. I was thinking of using these for some giveaways. And so I bought four of them. I don't know that I'll use all four for giveaways. I have a little idea in mind, but I thought those were really cute. So I grabbed four of those. And you guys, the add-ons right now, if you're not a Globe In member and you want to join for that $10 price, go check out their add-ons because they have the best stuff right now. The next thing that I purchased was two tea towels. I thought this one was so pretty with the leaves. I wish that I would have bought two of each of these. I did not realize how beautiful they are. You can tell the stitching is hand done. It's so pretty. Here, I'm gonna open it and see if you can see the stitching. If I would have known how nice these were, because I'm pretty new to Globe In and on the add-ons, I would have bought more to give these as gifts. Like I would have sent this to my mom it's so pretty though. I don't know if you can see the stitching there. Isn't that gorgeous? So I thought in my kitchen, my cabinets are cream and I thought these would be beautiful. So I grabbed those. The next thing I got was this runner. So it looks like this. This was something that was sort of hard, I think, to tell what it was or what it was really gonna look like online. But I love a table runner across like a neutral tablecloth in my dining room. Look at this, it's sort of like, I don't know if it's like ro woven grass that they've dyed. That's what it feels like, sort of rattan or something. This is made in Bangladesh. It doesn't have a scent to it at all. Hold on, it's got a little tie. I thought this was a rubber band, but it's twine. And this is, oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, that's, Stunning, you guys. That's beautiful. So it's got oranges and greens and creams and plums. And I love the, the like rusty oranges on the end. <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm super happy with that. That makes just a simple tablecloth look so rich and beautiful. That's gorgeous. All right, the next item in here, oh, I love scissors in the box. <laughs> 
is this guy. Not sure what this is. I don't really remember what I got for the add-ons. So you can do add-ons, I think, from the 1st to the 10th. Maybe it's the 15th. I can't remember. And then they ship out the boxes by, I think, the 22nd. But maybe one of my add-ons was, like, late getting into their warehouse or something. I don't know. Maybe that explains why my box was late. I'm not really upset. It's just weird that I got three subscription boxes just so late. Sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> got something in a jar that's breakable. I should have opened these before. Stick with me. Okay. So the next thing I got was this Casablanca Market. Oh, I do remember getting this. This is a olive tamponade. It does look like it's leaked out just a little bit. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Because tamponade is usually in a little bit of oil. So if you can see, there was some leakage. I don't mind that. It's not in the box at all because it was wrapped so well. This stuff smells amazing. Do you guys like olives or olive tamponade? I love it on sandwiches or as a dip. So good. So I haven't ever bought a button. Hello. <laughs> haven't ever bought a food item from Globin, so I will let you know what I think of that. All right, the next item in here, I got, oh gosh, these are huge. Wow. Okay, so I got this Alafifa Authentic Shea Butter Lavender Bubble Bath. That is huge. I mean, it's as big as my head. This was a little bit pricey, like I think it was in the 20s, but a couple of you had used my link. So I was like, I'm gonna just do a little treat yourself moment. So thank you for doing that. It does help me when you click on my link or you subscribe to my channel to sort of bring you more content or bring you different boxes. So I do appreciate that so much. And this says, um, for normal to very dry skin, which my skin is pretty dry, this is an ethical body care everyday shea deep moisture. And then I also got the lavender. This is shea butter lemongrass and lavender. And this is shea butter yam leaf and lavender. So they sort of go together. But I had no idea they were so big. Now I understand why they were so expensive. And because it's all ethical items, I know that you're going to pay more because they're giving a fair wage to somebody. And a lot of it is a little bit more healthy. It doesn't have all the, the toxic chemicals in it. So I'm really excited for that. All right, there's just a couple more, or just one more thing in here. Another little bubble wrapped container. And then we'll get into the subscription box. What is this? Oh, this is a nail polish hair. <laughs> this is the Pure Color Nail Polish, and it's in the color, it looks like it says Nona. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So it looks like this really pretty pink. I thought that would be pretty because it has like a little bit of a, like a darker pink, sort of a fall pink. That's not the color I have on. It's similar though. No, it's not. That's pretty. So I grabbed that. So I did get some Bath and Body, which I haven't done before. And I will let you know how those do, just like I let you know about the pottery for my last add-ons um, next month. And I'll, so you know, I mean, I feel like when you're learning about a new company, you sort of want to know how the products stand up. Are they good? Did they dry out your skin? Did they, you know what I mean? Did it taste yucky? I think the olive tamponade is gonna be fine. I think it just was, um, opened and shipping a little bit. Okay, so the box that I received, does it say this is the Amore box? And like I said, there's like a bathe box. There was like a tea box. I mean, there's like six or seven different ones that you can choose from. So the first thing in here is a little board. That's cute. This would be cute for like a little cheese plate, but you can also hang this in your kitchen. This would be cute at Christmas. Oh my gosh, I have an idea. This would be cute at Christmas and then just get a little clear command hook and put a little green boxwood wreath right here or a little tiny, like the ones that you tie on Christmas packages with berries on it. That would be cute in a kitchen, would it not? I love that, okay? So we got that little guy and then couple of things in here. There's no card. Oh, here's the card. It's down below. I feel like I'm all over the place today. I'm doing sort of a filming palooza because I'm going out of town next week and I'm trying to have content up. And 
<laughs> so I have so many boxes spinning in my head. So this is the Amore box. And the first little item, ooh, they give you a personal pizza board. It says, say hello to Nai Nai. It's a woodworking artesian from Thailand. So that came from Thailand. It says, he worked diligently on your new pizza board. Noi works for a cooperative in Northern Thailand making tableware that is roughly, with roughly 30 other men and women. I also really like knowing where the products came from. This is probably going to be a hand washed item if I had to guess, but that's fine. But you shouldn't put your wood through the dishwasher. All right, the next item in here, man, what is with the bubble wrap today? Oh, look how pretty this is. This is like a little ladle. And actually you guys, this right here, I have paper clips and stuff on it or I was using it for that the other day. These are little dipping bowls that I actually got on the add-on sale. If you can find these, they come in, a, there was a set of four and each of them was a different color. There was like yellow, blue, red, and maybe orange. These are great too. But this looks like it may be from the same place. It's just like pottery ladle. Like so when you're doing soups and chilies, it actually looks very Christmassy kind of, doesn't it? That's gorgeous. Okay, and I like this because I have just been trying to get rid of the plastic in my kitchen. I just feel like when I'm ladling out with like a big plastic spoon, what's seeping into my chili and stuff? I will totally use this. Okay, marinara sauce spoon. This is so pretty and it's from Morocco. It says the creator behind our new Moroccan marinara sauce. <laughs> Okay, it says this is a marinara sauce spoon. The creator behind our new Moroccan marinara sauce spoon is one of our favorite talented artisans, Abdesium. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, Abdesium, but we're gonna go with it. He was born in Morocco, but currently resides in Marrakesh, where he and his artisan groups produce ceramics. He is well-respected in the artesian community for his eye-catching ceramics. This is really cool, but doesn't that remind you of like a poinsettia? I like it. Okay, so that's pretty. And then you almost always get a basket. This is my basket from last month. It's actually sitting here on the floor and I've been using it for my washi tapes for planners. I really like it. I always find a little use for the baskets. So this one looks like this for tortillas maybe. Is that what you would use it for? Let's see what it says about the basket. Okay, so it does say this is a tortilla flatbread basket and it's small. This was made in Mexico. It says Doria Lenore's husband works half of the year in Mexico and half of the year on the farms elsewhere in Mexico. Together with her husband, Doria's dream is to put this, her sons through college so they can have careers. So this is actually the artesian and you can see her sitting there weaving your basket. Very, very cool. It's gorgeous too. Let me take out the other stuff that's in here so you can kind of see what it looks like. They do come in just a little bit sort of odd shaped, but they sort of take their shape back as you're using them. I'll, I'll use this. We use um, tortillas a lot, the big ones when we're making quesadillas and tacos and things. So this will definitely get used in our pantry. All right, the next item in here is a little blend. This is called the Cape Garden Herbs, the built-in grinder. This is a spice grinder from South Africa, and it says the company in partnership with Turkey Trading focuses on developing the many flavors while providing jobs to their women in South Africa. The beads and tassels on the bottle mimic the neck adornments worn by traditional African women and are ethically handmade by Cape Mental Health Society, a work haven for the mentally handicapped from the townships around Cape Town. Oh, wow. I like that even more. And it's just a herb blend. That is cool. Okay. And then it looks like we have one more item in the box. I've actually seen what this is and it's so stinking cute. I can't even take it. It's a pizza cutter that looks like a bicycle. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? You know how sometimes you have to like pizza? This is nice because it gives you a front cut and then whatever the front didn't cut the back well. Kind of brilliant if you ask me. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Adorable. 
And that little guy is, right, so this is the bicycle pizza cutter made in India. It says Deshand, who is our guy right here, he creates many of the stainless steel cuttery seen in our globe in shop. He's skilled at forging, welding, and polishing steel to create gorgeous knives, cheese spreaders, and utensils that we love. Deshaun earns his entire income from his artesian work and is able to provide for his family for several months from the income generated by Globe Inn's Delish box. Nice, now this is the Amour box. I have to look at the Delish box. That's so cool. Deshaun says if he had his wildest dreams granted, his wish is to start a school at my ancestral village for the poor people would be what he would wanna do. Oh, that's so cool. I love hearing the stories of these people. They also gave you a mushroom mozzarella and truffle pizza recipe, which is yummy. I feel like there was a recipe at the front too. I don't know, but I want to know what those are. I'm gonna have to search the website and see if they have other recipes because whatever those are look amazing. Does it say? See, they show them in the basket too. Those look so good. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and find those. There they are again. All right, so that was my Amore box. Like I said, you can pick the box you wanted if you wanted to pick Amore or the five or six other boxes you can pick every month so you can sort of rotate. And if you get the mystery box, supposedly you're not going to get a box that you've received in the past. So this one was really good. We got the tortilla holder, the adorable little pizza cutter, the board, the sauce spoon, adorable, and the grinder. That was in the Amore. So again, if you wanna try Globin, just go ahead and use my code to get $30 off your first box so you can get it for 10, and I will see you soon for another video. Bye-bye, guys.